what we're going to do is start with about a quarter of the way up the page and it's a bit further up than in the reference photo but I want to make sure that there's enough space here on the ground okay so that I can get in some figures bits and pieces so we're almost raising the scene up a little bit higher okay it's almost a, a teeny bit higher so there are some alterations but we'll be okay now we can see here the road just comes in the the building here starts this building right in the center starts a little bit a little bit left to center of the center of the page so about here okay and let's estimate roughly the top of the building here so i'm just going to draw that top part in like that how many floors now you've got one one two three four five floors basically one two three four five something like that okay and i'm gonna just bring that down a lot of this is quite rough because i am actually going to change it up afterwards a touch okay you can see just here the top of top part of the building you got this kind of side of that building showing up you've got this pipe running down the side of that building as well okay over here let's have a look we've got uh we've got all these windows everywhere there's one here one here one here one here one here one here there's th you know these three windows as well could just base mainly just marking out where the windows are i'm not too fussed about getting into details looking at them as shapes as well that's a rectangular sort of shape another one here and another one here next to it as well okay there is this sort of section here that has these kind of little signs near the base of the building and then of course we've got these like kind of shades okay look at that these little kind of sh shades underneath like that that i can improvise okay and just get in some little details like that and we can refine it a bit later okay the signs street signs as well you know I have to bring this down a little bit further as well um, over here you know you've got these it's kind of like the it looks like one of those news agents that sells bags and all kinds of all kinds of stuff here doesn't matter exactly what's what's there I'm gonna put a person just standing as well in that in this area for scale you know what else do we have? You know, we've got this large shadow that's running across that building as well. I'm just going to mark that out, perhaps emphasize that shadow a bit more, a little bit more than what it appears to be like in the reference. I want that. I want a more, a more obvious shadow and it kind of extends into the foreground a bit more as well. So here's another building to the right. Let's let's draw this one in we might have to extend this building out a little let's let's just see how we go this building here there's a little space in between the two buildings as well this is going to be fine we we'll just leave it as is uh i actually i actually will draw in the this little edge of that building there there's even a building in, in the background there as well oops little building here in the background like that like a smaller sort of building in the light okay this building has three floors and here is a, a window here there is a window here a window here okay and really really nice as well i like that there is this umbrella here in the foreground look at that i really like this umbrella we're gonna just get that in uh, it's actually more over to the right hand side of the building so I think I'll actually draw this building here to the right in uh, more first. It actually goes out of the scene. It really, really disappears off the top like that. Um, like that. You can see the sides of the windows and all that here as well. Like this. Okay. But you've got this really big umbrella that just, you know, the triangle of it just comes out like that. There. it's close in the foreground actually this is going to be nice sort of umbrella just like that great okay got that umbrella there 
And let's see, what else can we do in here? There's, I mean, there's other umbrellas even behind. If you look, if you look over there, there's another one just behind. You can't, you can barely see what's going on. There's a shrub, a nice sort of shrub here as well in the foreground, um, kind of coming in from the, the right hand side. But I reckon what I'll do is also add in some people here. So we do have figures in the background, but I'll draw a, a larger person. Maybe just walking in here in from the front of the scene like that just kind of walking into the scene and putting the other leg behind like that there just walking in into the scene like this simple figure there's more figures here look at them just kind of standing around in the background like that couple there you know, maybe another figure here, just kind of walking off. So it's leading, leading into the scene. And I'll, I'll put another one just standing here as well, perhaps walking into the right-hand side of the scene. So these two figures can kind of join on with each other. And remember, the, the shadow will run to the left-hand side as well. And this will, will kind of cover up this space where there's a, a shrub or some greenery over here as well. Just integrate that all together tie it together and make it look like you're traveling into the scene okay these buildings are a bit of a little bit of a hassle but remember they are just a shape you're just looking at it, it's like a basically it's just a rectangle if you think of it that way you'll be fine just just drawing a rectangle okay and you've got the edges like the left side of that building as well kind of goes all the way down until the end there you've got some trees like green sort of trees there you know filling in that gap in the background which is great you know all this stuff on the building we can we can get the rest of that in later but i know if there is a this rooftop here I might just like emphasize that a bit more like that oops yeah that's it i thought i'd erase it there for a second just to raise this off there we have it. it's kind of more of this almost this triangular part of the roof and it goes down to the back a bit afterwards, but I can pop in a few little windows here as well. Simple, simple windows to the side. I don't want them to be a huge, uh, yeah, a huge factor in this scene. Now we've got the road here and no for certain the road kind of comes around like that. So the cars are just on this side of the road, but over this this side, it's pretty much like the walkway here. So it makes sense these people just kind of walking in like that, okay? But now I'm feeling that perhaps we should have another person like here as well, a little bit closer and perhaps walking to the left side of the scene here as well. Good, we get all these figures all in one go. And we've got this road coming to the left, you know, and look at all these cars. We've got tons of these cars. I'm going to get them in in just a moment, but I want to make sure that we've got the background buildings, uh, uh, some resemblance of these background buildings in there first. I left a bit of space, and I'm going to just draw the three floors in here and put in the little details of this this building in the background one two three kind of windows at the top there you know this is top part with some i think that looks like a horse and a chariot or something it doesn't matter i'm just scribbling that in i don't want that to be a huge part of the scene and then when you're moving over to this side you've basically got yourself a whole bunch of buildings and let's just let's just simplify this down i know that comes out like from here that's the first one there then you've got a second one that just runs down like this there again like that and that's like on the front of the building as well another building that comes out here and you know i i think what what i could do is perhaps add in another yeah perhaps add in a fourth one here even though there's not really a fourth one here i can just improvise and add one in to fill up this space a little bit more or you know what i could do actually is just extend out 
let's just let's just do this. We'll extend out this building a little bit more to the left. Okay, like that. And we'll extend out this one too. Okay, this can be kind of like part of a maybe a smaller part like that of that building. Easy. Okay, so we've got the buildings in, you know, some of these, again, looking at the floors, how many floors are there? There are one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, like that. One, two, three, four. Okay, something like this. Um, but below, we've got cars, and this is really going to be quite important. So let's draw in the cars. And I'll start with the windshield. And remember, you were putting the cars roughly on this, where this horizon line is there. And you've got like the front of the car there, the windshield. You've got the this part. This is some kind of van, as you can see. It's some sort of van. And I'm just drawing in the wheels, simple kind of wheels. Connect them up like that underneath here as well. Okay, so we've got a car here. It's just in frame. I've moved it in frame, but actually in the the photo, it's out out of frame. And there's a shadow underneath it. You know, behind this car, there's a second van. Looks like a delivery van of some sort. Look at the the windshield. It's kind of this darker color like that. There, you're gonna put in the back end of it there front of the the vehicle here and then you've got a couple of wheels there as well just join them up again and it becomes another another van i guess here just another van you've got a smaller car behind as well like there um behind just like a smaller car of some sort what else do we have? We've got another van just parked, like a smaller one just parked behind, you know. And as you move back, you find that it's harder and hard, it gets harder and harder to see the sides of the, the cars. You, the ones at the front, it's much easier to see what's going on. Okay, as we move back, it, they become kind of just more these boxy shapes in the, in the distance. And what I really want to do as well is, is get in a car let me just have a think. I, I do want to get in a car up here, like closer by to this area of the road. I'm going to copy this, the back end of this smaller car. Okay. Like that. It could be just parked on the road or, or who knows. Just like that. Like that. Simplify that down there. Um, what else do we have? We've got other cars and bits and pieces here at the front, but look, you can just... Like I said, just make them go into these rectangular-like shapes and you're fine. Looks pretty much rectangular. They're all good. Okay. Okay. Uh, a pedestrian. Let's put in a pedestrian here. I've forgotten to add someone in. Like that, walking across the road, like that. Balance it out a bit more. So we've got a car here as well. I want to put another one just next door like that, just kind of just in front of that other car as well. There, uh, but we do have a person here. I could get in a, a just thinking should I get another figure here I've got lots of people in here so I'll, I'll you know I'm just wary not to overdo it I can always add in more people afterwards if needs be okay I think at the moment this is looking pretty good for this sketch so we should be able to go ahead and get started now on the painting and we'll pick up some warm colors first for the buildings themselves We've got a bit of burnt sienna. I'm going to chuck that on here. A little bit of burnt sienna over there. Uh, maybe just add, tone that down with a bit of other kind of brownish color. Okay. Lots of yellow ochre in here as well that we can play around with and just drop that in. Yellow ochre works very, very nicely. 
And if you want to dull, uh, make it more vibrant, just add in a little bit of this color here. It's a touch of, it's, a, it's basically a touch of quinacridone yellow, quinacridone gold. Okay, so coming down like that, um, let's put in a bit of this, I'm going to just gray down the top of these, uh, yeah, gray down the top of those shades, these sort of shades here. Okay, leave a bit of the, the white and, and what have you in there as well. I'm not going to bother too much with detailing everything inside, but... The, the aim here is just to make sure you get in a nice warm color that get that impression of the, I guess, of the, um, the light hitting these buildings. And I do have some other like white color that I've used as well in here, like a cream color, which I've just mixed up a touch of titanium white with yellow. And you can get more of this creamy color as well. And I find this is really good when you're using it for, say, this shade here, this umbrella. You know, that's actually the same color. So just get it in like that. Look at that. You know, and I've not, I've actually got a bit of dry brush happening on the side. So I'm just going to leave that. Okay. There. What else do we have? We've, I mean, most of these buildings are pretty, it's just quite yellowish. In, so we can just go in like this easily. Okay. Um, good. What have we got down here? We've got kind of some greenish areas. I'm going to actually do that, add the green and stuff in a little bit later. After I just do all this stuff in the background first. So again, just another bit of this kind of off white color for the background building here. And I'm trying to just blend everything together so that all the buildings kind of come together a bit. Okay. Bit of yellow in there as well. And then let's do this, these buildings to the left. Again, I've got some titanium white mixed in with some yellow so that I don't over, you know, over exaggerate this section. Okay, but it's so simple to put in just a touch of these colors, a touch of these warm colors. And all you need is a few little brush strokes to do this. I mean, I'm not even, even I'm not even thinking while I'm do this, doing this, I'm just coloring in the buildings, one color. Just one basic color. Okay, so what else do we have here? Well, we have, of course, the ground, which is gonna be a grayish color. So I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna, I've got a bit of neutral tint here. I'm gonna mix up a touch of neutral tint. And look at this, I'm gonna bring it down into the ground. Too, too dark, so I'm just mixing up now some, a little bit of yellow ochre and dropping that in there as well. Okay, and we're going to bring this down across onto the ground, just like in one big wash, as you can see, it's as if everything just joins up together underneath like this. A bit more neutral tint, a bit more of this sort of grayish color here. Nice sort of grayish color for the ground. Um, yeah, neutral tint works best. I just pick up a bit of that. You know, even a touch of purple in there can be nice too. Uh, purple, because there's a complementary color to what we're using up the top, it actually can look quite nice when you pair it with the, the yellow. So a touch of that, why not? Let's just give that a go. But very, very light wash. In fact, I, I do think I've gone still too dark here in the ground, but I can lift off a bit of paint and remember it dries off as well a bit lighter okay here um, a bit of green i'm going to start putting in some green for these shrubs here a bit of yellow and green okay it's kind of like this shrub that's here uh, good like that simple easy just a quick little thing like that there's in the middle of these buildings as well there's green you know again it's just this the, this uh, sh tree running through the center there in the background okay now we're going to get now to the sky so 
Let's have a look. I'm going to use cerulean blue. Let's pick up a bit of. Let's pick up a bit of cerulean. And I'm just going to drop that into the sky. Some nice cerulean blue. Um, like that, and really go as light as I can. So all this, everything, every single color that I've used so far, I've diluted down significantly. It's only 10% paint and the rest of it is just water. Keep it very light to the point where it just looks too weak and you think to yourself, I've maybe I haven't gone dark enough. Well, that's actually a good point that, that you can tell that's the right value because it needs to just look almost out of place at the moment just too light and washed out because we haven't even got in the the shadows so once we get the shadows in everything else will make sense okay so this is just a simple sky lots of blue cerulean blue in there okay another thing we can do as well is drop in some clouds and i have some purple Neutral tint and purple, maybe. Let's just let's just see if I can flick in a few little cloud shapes like this. Okay, here maybe just like another larger cloud shape there. You know, just drop it in while the paint is still wet. It's going to look more interesting. Look, at, make it look a little bit moody, perhaps. Okay, but I don't want to get rid of that that, that amazing sky already. That nice sort of bluish sky, cerulean blue, you know. So a little bit of those clouds are fine. I don't want to put too many in there. I think I might have already gone overboard. So while that's happening, while that's all settling in nicely, I'm just going to, you know, oops, settle in and just add in some more of this green in places. You know, in, in any spots that I think could do with a bit of touching up and um, bits and pieces. Let's just work on that. And the figures as well, the people, we can work on getting in a little bit of color. So this one might, I might drop in some blue here. That's, you know, a bit of reddish color like that, a bit of purple or something like that for this figure here. Okay. So just purple, get that one a bit more purplish here as well. What have we got? Maybe some warmer color for this one too, for the shirt, okay. We've also got these cars that we can get in some colors as well. So they can get in, you know, a bit of blue for this van perhaps in there. Uh, and it just, yeah, it just creates, just dulls it down a little bit and joins it on so that it's not all the same color. A bit more purple underneath this, uh, this car here. Good. Okay. If the water is spreading too much, as you can see up here, you can do this kind of thing where you just place a tissue and simply lift off some of that paint and you're going to get a nicer blend like that. Good. Now let's dry this off and we'll come back to it. Okay, so we've got the first wash done. The second part of this painting, we're going to use smaller brushes. We're going to be using a flat brush, and we're going to also be using maybe a little round brush or a little mop brush like this. And this is a really important part of the painting because we want to put in all the shadows all at once. We'll be able to do it. I would say we'll be able to do most of these, most of the darks in one go. And then the final step later, we'll go through and we'll put in the darkness of everything. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start out on the right hand side of the painting. It's just an area that I th I feel that I want to start out in. You can start out anywhere else. And remember we've kind of outlined the shadows. We want to outline where the light is. And I want to use purple. Purple is a great color when we've got all these yellows in here. But I want to make sure that I've also got in some neutral tint in here as well so it's not just too vibrant purple in there so it's a purplish color but it's not too much i mean a little bit of a little bit of brown as well helps okay so let's just go ahead and do it now all the way in like that let's have a look test that out that's a good color 
Yeah, that's a good color. And using the tip of the brush, I'm just going in and I am painting this side of the building in. And the proportion of paint I'm using is about, I would say, I would say about 50% paint and 50% water. Okay, it's an, I really like this color. It's a nice gray, kind of blue, blue gray color. Okay, like that. And I'm, all I want to do is just get in the side of this building here. Okay, nice sharp side of this, this building. Okay, like that. And we can get in the details of that building later. But for the time being, look, cut around this umbrella at the front. And see how I've left in little bits of yellow and stuff in there as well, little bits of light. That's on purpose, just to make it look a bit more interesting. And I'm gonna move over to this building here to the left. You can see this shadow sort of just like joins on. You can see here, this shadow just joins on with this building to the right. Okay, all at once. If we can do all these shadows at once, that's ideal. Just uh, here as well, this top part there, there's a little bit of something. Uh, yeah, it's not much on the roof. We don't have to do anything with that for the roof. You know, these two little windows, look, I can actually imply the windows right there. We'll go back and, and rejig it, but something like that. What else do we have? We've got this shadow that's running across the building here as well. So I'm going to get that in and I'm not going to be able to get in this window properly. We'll have to go back to that afterwards. Okay, more of this purplish color, maybe a little bit more blue in here as well. Change it up a touch here. Okay, and you can see the this shadow kind of come down behind this umbrella like that and behind this one as well underneath like this too this little flat brush is crucial because it helps you to cut around everything cut around all this detail get in a little bit of darkness surrounding all this okay good and of course the left side of the building here is going to be darker too so i'm going to go back into this section let's go ahead and darken down this left side of the building like that because there's going to be a shadow on the left side of the building there okay good now let's have a look at this building we've got a bit of shadow underneath the, that part of the building. We've also got shadows running on the left side of the building. So let's do this all at once. You know, this, this shadow just, you know, over the top there, here as well. But it's mainly, as you can see, light source coming from the right-hand side. So you're gonna get darkness on the left-hand side of the building here. Left-hand side of the building there. Right, and of course you get a little bit of it just extending out to here as well. Um, this part of the building, the left side of the building, uh, like that. You've got the windows. And the windows, we can put a lot of the details of the windows in later, but I think if we can get some of it in now, that's actually gonna be good. It's gonna save us a touch, a little bit of time, uh, like that, okay. Just kind of see if you can use the fewest amount of brush strokes to apply these windows like that. Look at look at this. It's just one, almost like one brush stroke at times to, to get these windows in. It's not really, it's not a whole lot of paint in there. You know, underneath this little, uh, little balcony, you can see there's a, shadow here as well and there is a shadow here running to the over the the side of the building here look at that little shadow here 
cast by this building here. I should probably make it a bit higher up as well, like that. Okay, so that it makes sense where the shadow is casting. Oops, yeah, something like that. Should be okay. This something running up the side of the building. It's like this pipe or whatever here. Again, you don't really have to do this. I'm just putting it in. And, you know, I, I do notice as well, the background is a little darker, but it isn't, it isn't dark enough. I'll go in later and we'll change it up. But there is a building here that has a shadow here as well. Look, see? Just behind. So I'm going to make this part of this, the whole shadow shape. I'm going to do this all at once. The whole shadow shape all at once. Okay. And the background is actually darker than this building, but I'll, we'll go into that in just a moment, but I want to let some of this stuff just dry, dry a touch first. Okay. And what have we got over here? You know, we've had a bit of a play around there. We don't, don't really need to do all that much there just yet. I'm going to continue on with this section here. Really darker colors for this window um, here as well, like that. Look at that, just a section like that and a little darker section for a window there. You know, a little darker section here as well. Underneath and you've got these kind of signs and stuff like that. But underneath them, you've got really really dark um, areas like that but you've also got this other shadow see just running across like this so I'm gonna join that up like that All right kind of it's running over these sh these shades kind of the same as this one on top here see in the same direction there but it's just another one down there and uh, continue onwards. The rest of it is just in the light, but I'm going to just use the edge of my brush to darken underneath these shades here and leave out some light as well, as you can see, but I'm going very dark with this paint. It's almost completely black. And like I said, I, I'm not going to bother with getting in the tiny little details of exactly what's going on in here. Just enough, just enough to imply, just enough to imply that there are some people, some shops in that section. You know, even here, there's some kind of sign just sticking out in the sun. You know, let's just simplify that down. I'm going to make that into like this rectangular shape like this, you know, in the back of these buildings, you've got little details as well, just going into the distance, a little into the distance, you know, over here, we've got this larger building in the, in the background. I'm going to go a little bit lighter with these shadows for the windows and stuff. So look, if you just try to get in these windows with a few, just as few brush strokes as possible, you find it's actually a lot easier than you think. It's not rocket science. Just look at them as shapes, the semicircle, for example, you know, here on top, there's like a pretty dark sort of shadow. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get that darker sort of shadow in there. There's even a bit up the top like that there and stuff like that on the top of that building. I don't know what that is. It doesn't really matter. You know, here as well, there's another bit of shadow there, a bit of shadow here as well. And we've got, of course, these uh, window uh, doors running downwards as well. But I'm cutting around and just trying to trying to leave a bit of room here for the cars and that as well. Um, now there is a shadow that you know runs across the ground, runs across these figures, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just try to do this all in one go as well. I've got enough paint here. A lot more water and let's just go let's just figure this one out like move this move this uh, darkness this sort of level of all this darkness down but uh, there is a like I said this shadow running across like this 
some of them being part of the buildings to the right. So you've got like a figure here that's in the shadow, bunch of figures. Might be a good idea to swap over to a smaller mop brush for this section. It's always important to make sure you're using the right brush. When you're using a lot of paint like this, smaller brushes just get too fiddly. And you find yourself getting quite annoyed. Okay, so here we have it. Just a bit of this detail there for the, the figures and that. Um, a bit of green here for this shrub or whatever it is here. There. Okay, but I'm leaving a lot of uh, the the figure in there as well, like the the colors of the initial the figures and the darkness there. Here. Um. Like that. Okay. Bring that down a bit there. Let that dry off. Let that dry off and do its thing. But, you know, what I wanted was, yeah, this kind of pattern of, uh, I guess, the buildings running, the shadows of the buildings running across the scene. Like that. Casting a bit of a shadow. There. Um, I maybe make this one a bit more jagged or something like that. That's better. It's kind of difficult because I'm making this up as I go. I think that's that's decent. It joins onto the building here in the back, which is what I want. Okay. okay if you can carry it up and just make it a bit more joined up nicely like that. Good. Okay, let's have a look with this sort of shrub here in the background. I want to put in a bit of green, a bit of darker green to bring out this building, the details of this building better. This as well. But still leave in a bit of that previous green that's in there. Okay. You can use a tissue to just simplify it, uh, soften parts down if I need to. Okay. There we have it. Just a bit of green in that section out the back. Darken that down a little bit. Uh, yep. Good. Okay, now I've noticed as well, running to the left here, there's going to be more shadows, like a little bit more shadows on these cars and stuff like that. So I, again, I just want to get all the shadows in at the same time. I reckon I'll start with these buildings first. Let's just put in a bit of shadow over the top, like that part of the building. You can see it's pretty dark there and there. You know, the, the shadow comes down like this on that part of the building. Whereas it's here on this part here, like that. There, there's another bit here. Um, and then it just, you know, it joins on to the, it, it joins on to the windows, as you can see, just running down these, these windows here. And they also start to also follow this pattern like this. Okay. Yeah, that. Um, but the windows, you can see, just you know, I'm just simplifying them down. But they're just vertical lines, uh, vertical sort of lines that run down the the sides of the buildings like that, and uh, can simplify them quite easily. It's just a few little brush strokes. Because I don't want to spend all day doing this. This is not going to be uh, it's not going to be fun. And in fact, the more detail you try to put in them at times, you you end up ruining the, the looseness of everything in here. 
Okay. You know, even this car, look, we can, for example, put in a bit of detail for the car and the wheels underneath like that. Um, and the car is actually pretty, the whole thing is just quite dark. I might just get the whole car in um, fairly dark, maybe with a bit of, a bit of something for the windows, just scratching out for the windows, but it's like a black van, so it's not really reflecting much light back. But when you look at this, I mean, a lot of these cars, if you think about it, they're just, they're almost exposed completely to the light to the right hand side. Um, the light source as well, I, I'm thinking maybe I, you know, for this, the shadow for this building, I can kind of just make it come through there like that. You know, I don't know about this, these buildings to the right. I think I'll leave them as they are, but I will go through and just, let's just put in the base of these cars, bit of darkness here like that and joining the wheels up at the, the bottom like that. Okay, so you have the wheels and obviously you've got this bit of the pavement here as well that we can just outline here. Um, let's have a look. We do have cars and things in front as well, which I can indicate there. There's another truck or something there in front that little wheel darker colors that you can put in here just to indicate the the sharpness of the the shadows underneath um, it also works quite well for the figures but these ones haven't dried off yet so uh, I will just leave that for a, for a moment, but uh, you can see here like the cars behind, they all have this shadow underneath. Mm -hmm. And there, really dark color. It's just almost pure black I'm picking up because at this point we are finding little details that I want to bring out, tiny little details um, to emphasize what is happening here. You know, on the side of this building, you can notice there's like a, how would I put it, like a bit of these bricks and stuff just running through like that so I can actually do this kind of thing, indicate some of that and it's just dry brush i've just picked up a lot of that dark paint dried the brush off and continued to just basically draw with the brush okay there's things here these initial bits that we were doing before like you know i didn't put any windows up here now is a good time because everything's pretty much just dried off so i can go in here add in a little bit of this um, remember to just dry off that brush as well while you're doing this so it doesn't look too stuck on. Another floor of, of windows here. One, two, three, perhaps like that. doesn't matter. There. You know, all the little windows. This is like a great chance to like just start detailing the windows a touch. Like that. Little windows. There, there's another one actually in here too. So we can get that in behind. There. There's extra darkness on the left side of this building and some darker kind of windows running down the, the side of the building as well. So I'm just trying to emphasize a, a little bit of that. And also this building here in the back, you can see a little bit of something going on back there. And I can emphasize that a bit more too. Okay.
Gut. More darkness here. Maybe a touch of like shadow on this umbrella as well that I forgot to get in, but it sort of just comes down this sort of side of the umbrella like that. Yep. There we go. That looks nice. Like a sharper sort of shadow cast by the building. Okay, good. Um, a little bit more black on some parts of the, the windows. Like I just want to bring out uh, just a bit more detail on the windows of the buildings in the background and that kind of thing here, especially. Okay. Not, not on all of them, but just on some parts of the building. And the separations of the buildings like that as well. Quite important. Ah, left side of this building, it does require a bit of tiny bit of detailing, I think, just to put in some windows and stuff. Again, just with some darker color. A few little strokes like this, a few little brush strokes. Okay. And I, I'm going to bring out some of these windows as well. I've not really detailed enough, I think, for some of them. So I will just create that arch, what sort of shape better for some of them. Okay. Like that. Yeah. There is little separations between the buildings as well, like here. You can see just little between the floors like that. So I've just drawn a quick line like that. These micro shadows, I suppose you can call them. And a bit, maybe a bit more darkness on the left side as well. Let's just have a, a go there. And I'm going to go through and just do the windscreens of some of these cars. Bit of darkness for the windscreens. Windscreen of that one. Okay. Windscreen of this car here to the front as well. Just darken that off a bit. As well as uh, the side windows. Uh, the, the wheels underneath as well. Okay, I'm just... Again, I'm just bringing out those real dark spots and, you know, the figures as well. This is kind of a, a good time now to just go through and do do the figures. Okay, look at the way they're, they're standing and basically just add in the legs with black like this. Here, there's another couple of figures here. Simplify them down. Okay, like that. I didn't do that leg so well. Let me just try to re rejig that a bit. Like that maybe. And of course, you know, I've got to get that the shadows of these cars and everything in a bit more a bit more detailed. Like that. Darker as well. Good. Bit of darkness for the shadow here. Okay, join it up with the legs. 
So I'm just trying to join up basically all the shadows on with the car and the uh, the cars here with the person as well. Makes it a lot easier to do. Um, even this background car, I'll just like color it in a bit more, put in something else here perhaps. Okay, this is helping to make, create a negative shape for this person, this figure here in the front. So the background's just got some darkness in there. Okay, so we've got that shadow running across. We've also got this figure that I painted a second ago. Uh, let's fix up the legs a little bit and then, oops, put that leg running backwards maybe here. And then I can also put in a shadow here for the legs. Running to the left. Could be just walking forwards, who knows? Okay, another one here. Joining up to the figure here and this one here as well. Okay. Some more figures here in the back, just getting the legs in in the same sort of manner. Same sort of deal. Like that. Some more bits and pieces for this uh, building, just some windows like this. That. Micro details with the, the architecture of the building like that as well. Okay, a little bit of red for the faces. The heads of the figures here, there's one, two, three, a couple here, four, five, six, and there's a few here just sort of standing around and doing something. The legs of these figures as well, can just put them in quickly like that. Cut around them a bit more. And finally, some highlights, a little bit of white gouache on the heads of these figures and maybe the shoulders here in the dark. And the shadows like that. Just a little bit of little bit of gouache here as well. You can even just put it on top of these the uh, bits and pieces like this umbrella to bring out a little bit of detail on it um, even in the the uh, windows window frames as well something like that just a touch of this little little sparkle I suppose just uh, running on top of the buildings um, yeah here is like that here as well um, you have to be pretty sparing with it use it sparingly um, again these these cars here bring out a little bit of that the detail on the cars like that That more here, just this again the structure of this building. Um, and I'm just doing it a little bit into these these buildings as well because you kind of got to even it out a touch. If you use some gouache on the left side, you have to use it on the right side and and vice versa. Um, 